What is Africa? Is it the wildlife, the beautiful coasts, thriving cities? It is more than that. It is the people. Our 55 countries have many things in common. Our cultures bind us together. They give us strength and identity. They make us proud. By sharing our knowledge and working together, we are building a new Africa that's driven by investments, by game-changing infrastructure projects, and using transformative technology to change the way we live, work, and conduct business. Using our largest natural resource, our vast arable land, we are making advances in agriculture, developing new industries, creating jobs, and improving livelihoods. Together, we are moving forward on economic integration. By consolidating Africa's significant internal market to foster trade within the continent and with the world, Africa is open for business. We are building the Africa we want. So, what is the continent of the future? The answer is Africa. This is not business as usual. No regular day of the week. There'll be no fighting the snooze button and getting ready for work. This will be something else. A country closed for travel and so closed for business. But just you wait until we can travel again. Boy, are we going to travel. Long breaks and short getaways to B&Bs, lodges and hotels girls' trips, and getaways na majid. Hella, we'll be reintroducing ourselves to South Africa again. To her beautiful people and places. We'll be traveling to go see my lady Akai. Stopping here and there along the way. We'll be exploring like never before because we'll know what it's like not to be able to. There's no way we won't go. Imagine what's happening visiting a farm called Helixpan. We'll do it all. We'll invest in our country right from our own pockets. Making bookings here and reservations there and getting people back to work again. But for now, stay home, stay safe. Knowing that Ghana is a beautiful country. There is so much of it you probably haven't seen haven't experienced, haven't touched, haven't felt, haven't eaten. When this is all over, let's discover our land again with new eyes. Let's feel each other again. We are one people, brought together by destiny. Let's make that count. Let's show love for each other and our environment. Let's tell our stories. And let's watch and listen to our stories. There will be so much to tell. Ghana is a truly beautiful country. Be Ghana. Stay in Ghana. Experience Ghana. Make Ghana great. And we will invite the world to come and experience Ghana too. But for now, stay home. Sunny Bonani, Dumelang, Dumaterian, and welcome to the Small Business Summit. I'm greeting you all the way from South Africa during what we call a level three lockdown, and I hope you are safe wherever in the world you may be. So, my name is Petunia Gabalo, and it is an honor and gives me great pleasure for me to then be here to introduce to you the 2021 Small Business Summit. This is a professional services edition. It is a digitized South Africa initiative brought to you by Half Africa 
in collaboration with Digital Foundation Africa. So, a little bit about myself. I'm the Business Development Director of Helplink Africa, and we are the leading small business management software um, system company that is powered by the vCenter technology. We came together in collaboration with one thing in mind, and that was to accelerate the digitization evolution with small businesses in the lead. So, let's get into the crux of why are we here today. As you are all too aware, we are in the midst of a crisis like no other. That is the global pandemic called COVID-19. This COVID-19, along with the lockdown regulations that we have all been going through, has killed so many small businesses, and it's in the process of eradicating so many others. So we have come in together and realized that for businesses to stay alive and to thrive in this climate, digitization is a need right now and not a thing for later. So we took it upon ourselves to put together an exceptional panelist who are coming to come here and discuss a few topics that will address this accentuated economic crisis that we have in this country. So these are the topics that we're going to be looking at. Financial inclusion, especially for professional service SMEs. Number two, establishing and maintaining functional business practices. Number three, retaining customers and generating leads. And lastly, but not least, the what next. Well, um, thank you for putting together this event. And um, thank you for the speakers as well, Beku and Jacqueline and, and the rest of the people who are supposed to be part of this event. And uh, so um, the purpose of the Small Business Summit is basically to introduce um, digital tools as well as make um, small business owners understand the reason why they have to go digital. And so um, the Digital Foundation in Africa through uh, events, which is the Africa Digital Festival, started to put together this. Um, this, this small business summit, even though it was supposed to be um, a physical event, but unfortunately, coronavirus and the lockdown in South Africa decided to make us go digital as, as our event says. And so the purpose of this event is basically to help businesses and um, business owners understand and know what kind of tools they have to use while they are online to maximize profits. And so uh, I, I'll urge everybody who's connecting via online, whether YouTube, Facebook, uh, and at the same time here to pay really attention to the speakers and what they are going to say, so that by the time they finish, they know what exactly and how best they, they can leverage on digital tools and other digital processes to um, achieve as well as maximize their profit. And so thank you very much, Kuda. And um, this is the first edition and I'm sure this is more of uh, this is this is going to be uh, part of the series that we're going to put together for digitize Africa uh, which the, the whole plan is to um, explore ecosystem across some African countries and so um, South Africa being part of it let's start with a small business summit